Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 36. So for this question I'm going to start off by multiplying the two fractions in the middle here. So we've got n over 2 times n plus 2 over 3. To multiply these we multiply the numerators so n times n plus 2 and also multiply denominators 2 times 3 is 6. And of course we can expand that bracket n times n is n squared and n times 2 is 2n. Now that we've got this as one fraction we can rewrite the question. So it was n squared plus 1 over 8, then we have this new fraction, n squared plus 2n over 6, and then we subtract from that n squared minus 1 over 12. At the moment these all have different denominators, so let's get them all over a common denominator of 24. To do this I multiply the first fraction by 3 over 3, so that would give me 3n squared plus 3 over 24. The second fraction I times by 4 over 4, so that's 4n squared plus 8n over 24. And the final fraction we double the top and bottom, so it's 2n squared minus 2 over 24. We can now write this as one single fraction all over 24. So we've got 3n squared plus 3, plus 4n squared plus 8. And for the last two terms we need to be careful, this negative applies to both of those terms on the numerator. So it's minus 2n squared, but plus 2. Now we can simplify, on the top we've got 3n squared plus 4n squared minus 2n squared, which gives you 5n squared. Then we've got 8n, and then 3 plus 2 for the constants is 5. So we end up with this. Now we can separate this into three terms. So if we do 5n squared over 24, then it's plus 8n over 24, but 8 over 24 will simplify to a third, so it's plus a third n, and then plus 5 over 24. If we now factorise out 5 over 24 from all of the terms, we get 5 over 24, n squared, plus 8 over 5n, plus 1. What I'm now going to do is complete the square inside this big square bracket. So we've got 5 over 24. For completing the square we'd have a bracket squared. To work out the number that goes in here I half the coefficient of n, so half of 8 over 5 is 8 over 10. And then I square this and subtract it, so 8 squared is 64 and 10 squared is 100. So I take away 64 over 100, and then I've got this plus 1. Negative 64 over 100 plus 1 is the same as plus 36 over 100. And this fraction actually simplifies down to 9 over 25. If we now expand back through that 5 over 24, we get 5 over 24 lots of the bracket. And then if you multiply 5 over 24 plus 9 over 25 and simplify, you get plus 3 over 40. So the expression in the question is equal to this. This is now in the completed square form. This first part of the expression here is 5 over 24 multiplied by some number squared. Now when you square a number it's impossible to get a negative number, so the smallest this could possibly be is 0. And then 5 over 24 times 0 is still 0. So this part of the expression is always greater than or equal to 0. And then we're going to add 3 over 40 to that. Therefore the whole expression is greater than or equal to 3 over 40. And we've shown what we've been asked to do in the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.